everybody, I'm going to talk about my reading plans for 2023. So as you know, <coughs> in 2022 I actually kept a reading journal. This is it. I've got the same book for 2023. I just want to show you how thick this book is compared to this book. <laughs> yeah. I read, because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to finish another one, I'm filming this New Year's Eve, 202 books. My target was 200, so to be fair, I didn't really rush it. I just took it easy, especially as I got nearer the end. Now, I do have a little bit of work to do in here on the stats, um, but I thought I'd just show you. It's just, basically, I have my TBR listed in here, my physical TBR, my Goodreads Challenge, my personal challenges, my statistics, and then each month like this, so January, and then these are the books that I bought each month. So I have transferred most of the same information into this new book. Obviously there's no thumbnails in it yet. So let's have a look. I've changed the layout slightly. So on the very first bit I've done the Goodreads challenge page, well, this first of three. I'm increasing my goal to 225 books because I know I can do it. Um, so there we go, 225 in 2023. Um, and I have put my key here. Whereas last year I had one for library, this year I'm not bothering. I, it'll just be physical. We've got physical, red, ebook green, audiobook yellow. I only listened to one audiobook last year. I haven't been listening to them. I was listening to one earlier though. I was trying to, well I did for a bit. Then I've got my personal challenges and this year I have three personal challenges. So as you see, three bookcases. They are 12 Agatha Christie novels in 2023. At least they're not gonna be as long as the Stephen King ones. 12 old Hollywood books in 2023. Now I should have enough of them on my current TBR and 12 new Marilyn books in 2023. And again, I've got more than enough of those, especially with everything that's being released. Currently, my physical TV, I will get to that in a minute, stands quite high. I've then got my stats page. Here's my TBR. My physical TBR, as you can see, I'm still turning pages. Currently, stands at 217, including the book I'm currently reading, which I don't think I'm gonna to finish today. So, yeah. 217 physical books. I have one book on its way which is the Agatha Christie book that I will be reading for January because I don't own very many of them. On here this will say January and the Agatha Christie book will be there and then any new books that I get or any books I get whether I buy them brand new, um, I order a Marilyn one because there are lots out there I haven't got, it's, un it's unthinkable. Um, or any I get from the charity shop, or my mum gives me from the charity shop, will be going on that list. And the rest of it will be set out as it is here, like this, with the book cover, the title, author, the publisher, how many pages, and whether it's a paperback or hardback. If it's an ebook, I will write ebook, so what format it's in. Now, the only change I am making to this format isn't actually a format change it's just a style change it's with the stars as you can see I've used gold stars next year I will be doing something slightly differently I have lots of different colored stars I still have all the gold ones I have these ones I have some more so my plan is to use gold for five stars silver for four stars red for three stars because there isn't a bronze in there though I do have some but I'm going to save them for Jennifer two stars blue and one star's green. Or I might go the other way around so I can save the blue stars for Jen. I also have these extra stars if I ever need them because who knows, next year I might put it back the other way. Or next year I might have used up all my gold stars but not all my blues and I'll just carry on. Now on to the reading plan. So other than my three challenges, which is one new Marilyn book, one Agatha Christie book and one old Hollywood book per month, it's pretty much anything and everything off the current TBR and 
I want to do a reread of my Marilyn book collection. So books such as, where is it? Oh, it's disappeared, is that it? No. This one. Now, this one's just here because I've just filmed my haul. My plan is to reread as many of my Marilyn book collections as I can and review every single one of them on my Marilyn TikTok account, Marilyn and me, or Marilyn, Marilyn underscore and underscore me. Those videos will also appear on my other account, which is mostly book talk, where I intend to review every single book I read instead of just posting sporadically like I did this year. Um, so yeah, that's what I plan on doing is I'm gonna reread as many as I can. I've already printed out a lot of the book covers ready to go in here. I'm very excited for reading again in 2023. I love reading, as you know. I know there's going to be lots of books I want to buy in the new year as well as the ones I've got, but I am hoping that next year I will actually get my physical TBR under 200. The reason it's up so high is last year I actually forgot to put 20 or 30 books on it because they're in a series by Cynthia Harrod, uh, Harrod Eagles. And I put them all in order on the top of the where my TBR lives, but I didn't actually write them down when I did it. So this year they've actually gone in. So that's why it's actually up. Had I not put those in, it would have been actually under what I had last year, which was 198. So I'm really pleased that even with everything I added, I didn't really add anything else to it. I've also added a load of books on Bristol that my dad gave me to read. They've got to go back to him. And all the photography manuals that I wouldn't normally put on there, but they are interesting and I do want to read them to help my photography. So it's going to be a very, very busy year and I might exceed 225. Of course, I've still got my colouring channel to do as well. well hey, I love colouring. Um, but yeah, so that is my exciting um, plan is to review every single book that I read in the new year on my TikTok channel, uh, Andrea Life and all the Marilyn books on Marilyn and Me. So if you're on TikTok, check it out. Um, I, I find it a very good format for reviewing on uh, and just general talk with the cat, talk with the cats behind me again about books, especially. I love them. So I will still post hauls. They'll either be every month or every other month, depending on how many books I get. Obviously, I will be doing my reading wrap up. I've got a couple of books to get back from my mum that I lent her that I need for this year, this month, and then I will get that done. But I'm very excited for what we're going to be all reading in the new year. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what's published. I'm looking forward to seeing what recommendations I can get off of BookTok and, and um, BookTube because I still watch a lot of BookTubers. I love watching anything to do with books. You know me. I'm a book whore. I will read anything. So I cannot wait. And I can't wait to see what everybody's going to be recommending this year. I found so many good books because of YouTube, because of BookTok. Priory of the Orange Tree. I've been reading Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've actually read Coho this year, which is something I'd never done before. And the books of hers I've read, I've enjoyed, so we'll be buying more in the new year. But I have to cut down. We're going on holiday next year. I want to save some money um, to potentially either go to America in 2026 for Marilyn's 100th birthday, or to buy something of Marilyn's personal items from one of the auctions they'll be holding either next year or the year after. So I do need to cut back and try and save. I certainly have enough books to be going on with. There are lots of charity shops in my area. I can pick up books if I feel I'm getting a bit low on books. It's not likely, but I'm looking forward to it. What are you looking forward to be reading in the new year? I am so excited that our reading journeys will continue and I will see you all soon. Bye everyone.